only shifted one time. <laughs> Able to talk. It's a tech script. Thing. It's script. It makes perfect sense. I knew exactly what he was saying. Yeah, it's scratched and it's scraped. <laughs> it's a good word. Script. A, little, a little miffed up too. A little miffed, a little yep. script. Yep. Justin, could I, I get an interview with you? David. Oh, David, I'm sorry. I knew that was your name. <laughs> My bad. Um, let's clip this. Why? What is that? What is this? It's a mic. Yep. Oh. Okay. You just state your name. Where are we at? And what are we doing today? Yeah. Hey, I'm David Hazelton. Uh, we're out at Vernal Buckskin Hills Dragway. <laughs> and uh, we came out to run the Dragboard 2.0, the, the second version, I guess. So, trying to set that record can you uh just walk us through part of the day uh you were deal you had like some steering issues and how were you able to fix that and also the shoe situation yeah yeah for sure um we we came out with a completely new axle design uh we we went with smaller gearing to shoot for higher top speed and we ended up uh just getting a little bit off of the uh the alignment so it was sending the board to the right, and there's a nice big fat steel fence on the right-hand side, so we weren't trying to hit that. So we uh, we spent about an hour dropping the axle and making some adjustments and getting it straightened out, and uh, got him down the track going straight. But we did still have some brake issues because with the new axle, we went with a different brake caliper, and the new brake caliper, uh, I, we we. We're not really 100% on if it's the brake caliper or the master cylinder, but we're pretty sure the master cylinder, for whatever reason, didn't like the, the swap of the fluid from the 4 to the 5. Um, so we are going to go back and throw a new new master cylinder in it, but uh, Travis had to use his, his foot, <laughs> use his, his uh, GP shoe as a brake uh, for most of the runs today and ended up burning a hole through and, and getting a nice fat blister. And so we did a little mod on that too and and uh, cut up a, a donated shoe and did some drilling and some uh, bolting and put a skid plate and a, a piece of a shoe on the side of his boot. But uh, it's good, bro. It's good, you know, you do what you gotta do. I'm gonna make sure this is recorded. Okay. And uh, just change the angle a little bit. Um, can you tell us how you met Travis and what excited you about this project? Yeah, well, actually, dude, uh, for me, it was uh, it was coming up on the end of winter and just moved shop. And uh, a buddy, Jamie Birch, <laughs> he, uh, I built a few motors for him and and worked on his machines. And he called me up and asked me if I wanted to go through a motor, and that was pretty much how it started. And I said, Yeah, sure. And one thing led to another, man. I'm sitting here uh, checking the crank in the top end on a YZ250 motor, and uh, next thing I know it, I'm wrapped into this project, <laughs> building this board, and and uh, Travis just grew on me, man. I mean, it was it was uh, it was just a job at first, but I ended up getting pretty wrapped up in it. So it's it's been uh, he's like family, and, and we we've had a blast doing it. So we're all chasing it together now. So. Cool. Uh, what's what's your ultimate goals with this project? Um, for me, man, I'm just here to stick it out until Travis is is satisfied, <laughs> whatever that means. <laughs> mm -hmm. Whether he gets to that triple digit mark or not, um, but yeah, for whatever whatever it's worth, man, we're just here to to support him and and uh, hang it out. Can you talk about how the length of the track is kind of a affecting the goals a little bit as well yeah dude um i mean we were able to hit a little over 78 miles an hour two weeks ago on this on this eighth mile um i guess there's a quarter mile run out after the eighth mile mark which is helpful for slowing down and stuff but uh, he's still trying to hit that that 80 plus mark you know in an eighth mile so um it's been it's been a struggle because we're we're trying to contact different dragways all over 
Colorado, Arizona, Wyoming, Utah, and uh, it's, it's been a struggle trying to find a spot that we can run this crazy thing. Most people are really unsure about what the heck we're up to. <laughs> so. Okay, uh, walk us through that last run and what you think might have caused it and just how, how scared you were in the moment. Um, yeah, when he took off, it, it looked really good and sounded really good. And he was he was definitely committed to making a making an 80 mile an hour run that time. And uh, I think he was kind of in a make it or break it mentality. Um, the the board started to pitch, and I'm not really sure why it swapped, but he his his inertia with with his body weight he he pulled his body moved and he got on the throttle at the same time and it caused the board to just swap um, and it swapped back and forth a few times and uh, and he kept and he, and he just kept on it dude he was just committed like I said he was kind of in a make it or break it mentality so I think uh, he, he wasn't ready to back off until he was going to hit that 80 so <laughs> he stayed in it and it swapped again and that was it. it it finally swapped enough to pitch him off kind of essentially high sided so uh, put him in a put him in a tumble and uh, I didn't take off running until he was off the board, but I, uh, I was it didn't take me too long to run an eighth of a mile. <laughs> uh, definitely emotionally invested in the project, so I didn't I don't I don't want to see the dude get hurt at all. So, but we're all we're all moto dudes, and that's what we do anyway. I mean, since I met Travis, I've been through a broken arm and healed and stuff. So I mean, we're all. We're all in it for for what it's worth, you know. Broken bones or not, but you got to be there to pick your buddy up off the ground. So, <laughs> uh, what kind of shape is the board in, and what's next for you guys? Um, yeah, definitely back into the shop. We have not too much to fix, honestly. Um, we we're gonna have to see what it takes to get that that alignment straight. If if it's a problem. I couldn't see how it wouldn't be after that kind of a tumble. The board flipped a few times and uh, knocked out a few things. Um, the tank got damaged. The expansion chamber got damaged. Not too bad. I mean, overall, the damage is, is mostly cosmetic, so um, the biggest damage was the cameras on board. <laughs> Most of it, I mean, uh, I don't know. If Travis can live with it, we might just spray paint it and hit <laughs> it again. <laughs> So I don't know. It, there's not a whole lot. Uh, it's really just get back out, make sure the, the front end's straight, make sure it's safe to run, and make sure it'll, it'll draw a straight line down the track again. But that's overall, it, it really went pretty well as far as a crash can go. So cool. Thank you, David. Dude, absolutely. You're good. You're good at interviews. I swear. I, uh, yeah, I've done done some stuff. <laughs> you seem pretty comfortable. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy to be me, man. It's not a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I grabbed this from you. Yep. Appreciate you. Okay. Uh, just start from the beginning. Uh, where, actually, your name, where are we? What are we doing today, and what were your goals coming into it? Uh, my name's Travis. I am from Aspen, Colorado. Um, we're in Bernal, Utah at Diamond Mountain. Awesome facility. The crew here is so hands down the best crew I've ever met. Um, we're here trying to just see how fast we can go. I mean, our goal was to try to get to 80 today. We've changed up gearing. We've revamped the board. We didn't know what to expect. We had issues at the beginning. We definitely had issues at the end. Um, all in all, I'm happy. I mean, it's a a lot of hands-on, a lot of um, a lot of unknowns. You know, there's only two of us in the world. Ron Schaefer has a board who I've worked with for the last eight, nine years. You know, he pushed me to build one. We built one, and we're here now. Uh, I wish that he was here running with us. This is a great facility to come train at. I don't know. I, I want to have fun. I, I'm sure you can tell by the footage that you got that. I'm here for fun. I just, I just want to have a good time. The board being not working properly didn't really get me down. The crash definitely didn't get me down. That was a, 
I mean, it was coming. We all know it's going to happen. It was, it was okay. Pretty sure I was laughing through some of it. Definitely was high fiving at the end of it. I uh, really appreciate you coming out to film with us. Uh, just, it was awesome, you know. I just, I really just enjoy it. Uh, need, need an adrenaline rush. I don't base jump as much after my accident, so I really use this as an outlet. I really need adrenaline, so and that's about it. Just, it's fun. I just, I just really want to have fun. Can you uh, walk us through the the accident and do you know what caused it? So talking to the timer and the starter was pretty good for that. It looks like I let my left tire slip out of the tack. So it got out to the part where there's no tackiness. So as I'm under pressure, the right tire is grabbing traction, the left tire is spinning. So it kept spinning me to the side. I get out of the throttle, would straighten out, hit it again, it really spun bad. Started coming back, hit it again, and it flipped um, pretty good. Pretty good, about a 200 foot slide down the track, tumbling, I hit twice. All in all, I mean, we're here, we're walking, it was, it was all right, man. How's the, the board looking and the camera gear? So I feel bad about Brett's <laughs> camera because it's done. <laughs> um, but I mean, all in all, I mean, it's a dirt bike motor, it's a YZ, they're built tough as nails. We dinged the pipe and we dinged the gas cap and that's really it. I mean, the board's pretty much straight. We need to fix the handle and we need to put it on a table and measure it just to make sure the deck is still good. But all in all, I mean, it's a pretty tough machine to take a tumble like that. You'll see from the footage, it definitely was hooking. Uh, how did you meet uh, Justin? Oh, wait, did I get his name wrong again? David, David. David, uh, and, David uh, I met through a mutual friend that just got his, his uh, Banshee worked up from him and he said, you know, you should check this, this mechanic out, which I called him a mechanic and was corrected instantly that he's a technician. So um, we started off about maybe seven months ago, six months ago. He's invested tons of his personal time into the board research. There is no blueprint on these boards. I mean, I've watched Vaughn trying to, to um, build a board from scratch not knowing. I mean, there's nobody else doing it. So I took Vaughn's advice on stuff. I do a ton of research online. I come from a motocross background, so um, I use that a lot on the starts. It's, you know, we start, we try to start really fast and then be able to run out at the end for higher speeds. And, you know, David's just, he's been there through the whole thing. So, I mean, there's a lot of research that goes in. We spend time researching go-karts. We spend time researching tires. I have met some people that run dragsters that have helped us with axles. I've met people who are some of the best go-kart racers in the United States and Vegas that helped us with tire selection, which gave us a stiffer outer wall. And just from the tires, we ran six miles an hour. So. It's all, I mean, between David and I, I mean, he's just a really, really nice guy. I mean, so humble, so so fun to work with. Oh, can you tell us the difficulties running an eighth versus a quarter? I mean, we have 660 feet to get on the pipe and be running. So I have to come out of the hole incredibly hard and incredibly fast, which is it's giving us a little bit of problem. You know, the tack on the track really grabs the back end. It's hopping that the back end. I have to put the throttle all the way down off the start and then listen for shifts and try to shift through it in an eighth of a mile. In a quarter of a mile, in an eighth of a mile, we're at 78 miles an hour right now. In a quarter of a mile, I'd have the same distance that we did 78 miles an hour in to gain to the next 10, 15, 20. I think 100 is possible. I mean, after running that fast year, I, I think 100 is possible in the right conditions. So it's it's hard. This is a this is a fast track. You have you have to be on it. And this is only I mean my crash is my tenth run on the board and that's it. I ran five other times on a road with cars coming. This is I have ten runs on the board. That's it. So that's why we're doing so much a run here talking about it. A run here talking about it. We just we don't know. I really I really wish that things were different between Vaughn and I because there's so much more knowledge it could be if Vaughn had made six runs today and I had done six runs and then we combined our information it just seems like it would open up so much more and that's what I'm wanting. I mean, Vaughn and I we've been friends for nine years I did not do this to come out and try to break his record I've said that from the beginning I would like to see how fast the board goes 
I mean, this is a good indication. I mean, Vaughn's running, he's running eight miles an hour faster than us right now in the quarter mile. So I'm proud of him. I'm, I'm happy for him. I mean, that took him 26 years to get, 28 years to get over that, that record. So, I mean, that's persistent. I'm, I'm, I'm happy for him. I think the competition is fueling him. He's been in the gym. He's, I, I think it's good. I really want to see it. I mean, I don't really care about a world record that much. I don't really care about holding a world record. I want to have fun. I mean, I, I say it. I mean, you had to see the look on my face when I got up. That was a gnarly crash. Smiles and giggles. I mean, it's not like, oh, I crashed. What am I going to do next? It's, it's supposed to be fun. Accidents happen. Breakdowns happen. I, I mean, it's just it's part of the game, man. It's just so much fun. I just wish that... I, I hope that in the near future that, that Vaughn and I can see eye to eye and we can just go together. Do you know how fun it would be to run side by side with them? You know, I mean, just incredible, incredible. Spectators would love it. I mean, I think it would help both of us. We would understand different aspects of the running. I'm more out of the hole faster. Vaughn's got a top end, end board, so he's at the top end. I haven't ran at those top ends, so I'd really like to see what it's like together. I, I would like to. I'd like to be sharing knowledge. I'd like for us to be having a dinner afterwards on Sunday, sitting down saying, man, this worked, this didn't. Bon, this worked, this didn't. Combine that knowledge, this is unstoppable. I mean, 100 mile an hour, it's it's coming. It's definitely coming. Is that the ultimate goal with your board? I saw, it. what does it say I mean, Vaughn your... and I have been talking for seven years about it. I mean, we named, I named my board triple digit. I mean, we all have to have a goal. Am I ecstatic that we went it, it, that we went into the 70s today? Sure, that was great. I mean, we have 10 runs here and four of them are over 70. That's great. I mean, I'm, I'm happy with that. Eighth of a mile is short. I mm -hmm. mean, you'll see when you come to, if they, if they come to run it. it, it's short. So, yeah. Any, any clue what you would run with the quarter? Like, as your board is set up right now? As my board is set up right now, um, they have a quarter mile calculator. So you take your fastest run times at times 1.25. That would be your, your speed. So we're looking at 97 to 103.5, I think is what we calculated last night. I think so, our boards are pretty similar as far as the top speed goes. Just top like, speed will be gearing. Mm -hmm. um, you guys, your guys' board, I mean, Vaughn's board has, a, has an advantage. It definitely has a bigger front sprocket, which is equivalent to two and a half teeth in the rear. At what point do, does the board have, um, does the board not have enough anymore? We found out the eighth mile with the setup I had last time, we hit 78.26 at the light and we radar 200 feet down and we were at 78.26. We had nothing left in the board, that was it. The board's been re-geared, we're four teeth lower right now. So it's a different beast. Doesn't come out of the hole as hard, but the top end is definitely there. So, I mean, it'd be fun. It'd be fun to run, run a quarter and see what we're doing. So what is the current teeth? Is uh, it 13 in the front? No, I'm running a 15 up front, and I think I'm running a 22 or a 21 in the rear. We can go down to a 19 in the rear, but the problem is the closer you get to one-to-one, -to -one, the more stress on your clutch. Mm -hmm. So that's a trade-off, you know. Cool. What's, what's next? What's your plan for your we're next? We're going home and rebuilding a board that's crunched a little bit, and then... I'm hoping to meet up with Juan, and we're hoping to get some runs at Vandermeer as well. We're hoping before they close. I just think it would be it'd be a blast if one of us ran over the world record, and we ran at the iconic Vandermeer at the last day before they closed. I mean, 1958 they started to the mm -hmm. closing day. Just it'd be great. Whether anybody goes that fast or not, who cares? I mean, let's just have fun. Do you have any idea what's kind of frustrated him the most between the two of you? I know there was like some frustrations about like you holding off so he can like beat his record I mean, before you did. He had a, he did the Vaughn Schaefer world record run. We definitely did not run our board before then. Um, you know, I, I don't want to take anything away from him in that, but that, I mean, because of issues with the board and that happens, you saw it happen today. I mean, three hours we spent trying to fix stuff on the board, not knowing if it would work. So, after that, I mean, we started getting close. There's only, I mean, I came up here three weeks ago and ran. I'm running this weekend. There's one more run, and that's it. We're practicing on an eighth of a mile, so, I mean, the, the difference is substantial. I mean, mm -hmm. 
there's no threat really that we could go over what could be done on the quarter mile. Just it, there's not. I mean, distance is distance. You know, speed and distance is. So I did see one thing as I was walking back here. I got a text message on my phone. And I don't have enough service to see what it says, but it looked like it was a Facebook link or a screenshot. Maybe the dragway posted something. I don't know what it is. I don't have any idea. I'm not really, I mean, whatever they do there is whatever they post. I'm not sure. I mean, I'm yeah. really not on social media. I just, it, it's different. You know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm huge into the base jumping world. And I was on the bridge one day jumping and some guy goes, you know, you guys just come out here and do your aerials because you wear GoPros and you want to put it on Facebook. And it really sunk in, you know, I've lost, I've lost 50, 55 friends in the last few years base jumping. And I mean, a lot of those were really close friends. I lost one of my best friends base jumping. And I really took a look back on that. And I, and I needed to ask myself if I'm doing this for somebody else or if I'm doing it for myself. And I'm not doing it for anything else. I mean, if they post something, I don't know. I mean, of course they're excited. It's a brand new racetrack. There's somebody up here doing something that really hasn't been done. I mean, the, the fact of the matter is the day I left here last time, before I got out of here, I called Ron. I asked him if he'd like to come. I, I, you know, I even asked you first to see what you thought about asking him. So I don't know what they're posting. I, I don't have any idea. I haven't read it. I am not on their, their site. So. Yeah, they got a business to run and they're promoting stuff. They're just promoting. I mean, they're excited. I mean, they 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 wanted nothing more than Juan to come up here and have fun. Um, we would have we could have ran bracket style because obviously our two boards are set up for different. Mine's set up for the eighth. His is set up for the quarter. So would I have got faster out of the hole? Probably the, with the setup. But then we would have bracketed it and we would have just subtracted timing because what they would like to see is us both cross the finish line at the same time. Just. I mean, yeah, they're trying to get publicity. It's a brand new track. Mm -hmm. So, um, last question. Tell us about the shoe situation and your breaking problem. So, we have a caliper issue going on, or a uh, master cylinder issue with my brakes. So, we we're running pretty much brakeless, and I tried to pump the brakes up and get it to grab before the end. It wasn't grabbing. So sat down on the board, put my foot down, and pulled my foot to the side, burned all the way through my shoe, gave me a huge blister. I wish I had the shoe out so we'd show you. We drilled holes in it, put a piece of leather on it, a piece of plastic over the outside of it, and kept on, kept keeping on, you know, that's all we could do. I like it, good mentality. Great, I really you, appreciate it. Oh, thank you so much. I've been wanting this interview for so long, and I really appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, if, if they posted something, I have no idea, none. Yeah, I don't know what it was. Probably just promoting. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm not, I mean, I, I, I'm not that way at all. I, I don't yeah. know if he doesn't understand that. Everything that I do and I and I, I come and tell him about, you know, ev everything. Clutch on the other side is is a must in my mind. Mm -hmm. um, I bought him covers for his tires, you know. Everything that I get from me, I get for him. Yeah. I mean, he doesn't, I, I don't know. I, I just, I want it to be friendly. You know, I'm not, I'm not out to like... I mean, I don't know. I mean, you, you can see I'm not at the restaurant. I, I don't tell people about it. I just, I just want to have fun. I really wanted to have fun with one of my best friends. That's really what I wanted to do. You know, I mean, I grew up competitive. I grew up racing motocross. I grew up boxing in the army. I, I grew up that way. You know, it's the same as boxing. You have to box your best friend sometime. And it's just, you know, you go in, you box, you get out, you hug each other. It's just, that's all this is to me. This is not... This is not who I am. Like, this is not like showing who I am. This is showing a side of me that just wants to have fun. I, I love competition and I friendly competition, you know? Vaughn could beat me. I'd give him the biggest hug in the world. You know, I tell him I love him. I, it's just, it, it's the way it is. Vaughn's like a brother. I don't, I don't like all the, the negativity in it. I, I want it to be, I, I don't know. I, I want it to be fun. Can you speak a little bit to how it's affected shop life and your personal life and work related stuff. I mean, it's, it's definitely affected the shop. You know, I mean, Vaughn is, is hands down. I mean, after losing my brother to cancer a few years ago, you know, Vaughn is he's the closest thing that I have to a brother, you know, same age as my brother. Um, you, you know, it affects it. It's, it's rough. I mean, I'm confused by 
by the threat that he seems to feel, it's it's not even that I want to come here. But if I could run at the airport with Bond, I'd run at the airport. I mean, those are unofficial times. Who cares how fast you go or how slow you go? I, it just that doesn't matter to me. Having fun matters to me. I mean, I've been at motocross races and got last place, and it was the most fun day I had. I mean, it's not. I, I don't need the same thing. I, I need. I need the competitiveness, and then I, then I need the friendship at the end. I need the hug on the back. I need the fist bump. You know, man, that was great. God, you did good today. Oh, you ran better today. You know, I just don't care. I, I don't really care. I just I wish that, it, that things were different. You know, I wish that we were that it wasn't hard, and I hope that it just changes. I hope, I wish that he would understand that. I think he feels that I'm coming after something of his, and I'm just not. It's. I mean, he's the one who asked me to build a board in, you know, I mean, I added up, I have $12,000 in my 12, well, I have another 800 in it probably now because I have to fix it, but I have under under $14,000 invested in a board, so it's not that I have a ton of money invested in it, it's a lot, most of that is labor, um, it's just, it, I don't know. I mean, you see how excited I get when the cars go by smoking the tires. It's, it reminds you of your childhood, man. It's just, I mean, we were 16, we had hot rods. We went to the quarter mile in the back country. That, that's what it reminds me of. Probably, we're probably reaching for our childhood. Probably both Vaughn and I, you know? I mean, Vaughn made a little bit longer in the stunt world than I did. I had a, a spinal injury that put me out. So, do I miss that? Hell yeah. I mean, coming off the board, did it bother me? Hell no. Was it part of the game? Yeah. Was it exciting? Absolutely. How did you and Vaughn meet, and when was that? I met Vaughn in, must have been, must have been 2011 I met Vaughn, um, because he was a stuntman in the valley and I was intrigued. There was no other stunt people in the valley. I wanted to meet him. I met him, we started talking, and we built the craziest apparatuses together. You know, we built a Russian swing. Um, Man, that Russian swing went on to launch one of the best base jumpers in the world into like a quintuplet flip with four twists. It was insane. That's Vaughn and I. We did that together. We have that up on this hill. We we jump into an airbag with it. You know, we have pit bikes. We race pit bikes. We have trikes. We race race big wheel trikes down the hill. That's that. I needed that energy. It's hard to find that energy at our age. I mean, a lot of people don't have that. You know, we still have that. The, the difference between Vaughn and I and the young kids are we both have that energy for the young kids sport. And we'll both hang with them for the day. But by God, the next five days are not that comfortable, I can tell you. <laughs> We're a little slower to recover now. Cool. I think that's all I got. That's great, man. Love you guys. I mean, I really appreciate it. And I hope that he sees that and understands what how I feel. Mm -hmm. I'm not out to try to take something. I just... I'm curious on the board and I just want to be... I just... I want to play with my friend. Yep. We're good to work together, not against each other. Yeah. All right, man. I'll do what I